Hey guys, I'm back with another beer review video and today uh, we got some from Sint Hubertus Triple Ambre and Sint Hubertus is a, a, actually a microbrewery in Audenaarde in Belgium so look at this bottle all these bottles they have are really really nicely done also the shape is also very nice and also the cap is rather sublime so this beer a guy on my channel called Leonard he told me when you get, when you get a hold of this one please do review it for me and that's no problem of course I, I, I said to him the moment I found it I will review it and here we are so Leonard this one is for you because you told me it is really nice one so let's try it so microbrewery from Audenaarde in Belgium. I'm gonna get my coin again. Do not damage the cap for my friend who is building his table. <laughs> and it's a big cap. That's always nice. See, it's not damaged. So it's seven. 0.2% ABV by the way for a triple that's rather low so it will be amber like copper in color yeah really nice head on that also medium carbonation and like I told you it's like copper, red to copper colored. Also the glassware is a little special. My name, my girlfriend's name and my daughter's name. It's made for my birthday. I think it was last year. Okay, um, let's get a nose on this, on this one. Hmm. The nose is rather spicy, but I can tell already it's going to be really smooth for the ABV. It's also, also malty, like sweet. Okay, that's all I can get from the nose for so far. I don't know anything about bitterness or there's nothing actually on the label label like you like you can see only at, at the top of the bot, bottle you have a very small label so let's try it cheers Leonard sweet malty spicy but those good spices the sweetness takes it a little bit over so it's not high it's balanced it's smooth drinking that's for sure malty like a little bit metallic taste going on i think it's really indeed really nice brewed especially for like a microbrewery of course but these guys do make actually rather nice beers of course but uh, the spices on the nose you get is not here actually in the beer a little bit but more more straight balanced it's smooth drinking malty some sweetness going on but also not too much that metallic thing I get, you always guess I have with those Belgian yeasts, of course, it could be an off, uh, a flavor the yeast will give to the beer in esters or like a little bit banana. You get gets always with this, uh, not always, but sometimes you get gets with a yeast from Belgium, the typical banana. Thing going on 
And this is also rather fruity, like some r red fruit thing going on. Yeah, red fruits, and then maybe a little bit of banana in the background. Yeah, maybe a little bit of grapefruity. But overall, I'm gonna try again. Really smooth drinking. I really in balance, like I told you. Taste wise, for me, it could be a little bit more to the when you when we're talking about ingredients and over over the mouthfeel body of this beer it's a little bit too thin like maybe slightly watered down i get that feeling from this one but like i told you and then at the end you get that bitterness there's there is a rather high bitterness going on but only at the end when it finishes the beers off then you have that bitterness so for me it's gonna be like let's say seven out of ten for me this is a seven out of ten like i said the mouthfeel isn't that complex for me and uh, yeah the metallic thing is that is going on also put me a little bit off but overall like you said leonard a beer you have to try of course and it's rather cheap so when you get a bottle like this to just just you hold it and you sit it some set it down somewhere it's always nice to look at these bottles but yeah nice beer so seven out of ten for, for me and uh, I see you in the next beer review tomorrow. Cheers, guys. Bye.